Thank you for tuning in to Cooking with Crush. Now I know it's been a bit, but as you can see, we're coming to you from a brand new set. And what better time with new beginnings and springtime coming than to talk about beverages and the soft drinks that you'll be consuming to get your refreshment during the summertime. So today we're gonna to talk about what's actually in your beverages, how to create your own beverages, and how to properly hydrate the body. Okay, now we're just gonna go over some of the more common beverages that people would consume during the summertime when they're thirsty. The first being a cola, and as you can see in here, it's two and a half servings per bottle. A lot of people would finish the whole thing, and there's 28 grams of sugar approximately per serving. That's a lot of sugar, so I would ex nay on the cola if you're thirsty in the summertime. Another beverage would be something more popular with the kids, like a strawberry flavored drink. They've got a couple of colors in here, milk fat, uh, you've got red number 40, blue number one. What is that? Do you even know? I wouldn't consume it if you don't know. Even some of the ones for kids that say that they're 100% fortified with vitamin C have high fructose corn syrup in them. All of these beverages are, will slowly destroy a child's nervous system, immune system, and their attention span. And I don't think that that's something that you're gonna wanna do for yourself or for your children. So we're gonna show you a way to get by that and make a healthy beverage for yourself or to make better choices in your community. Now that we've gone over the bad, let's cover the good. You do have access to 100% apple juice, which you can find in your corner store. And 100% juices are usually pretty good, so that's a good alternative. Uh, another would be coconut water, which contains lots of electrolytes, so you can actually replace your sports drinks with this. And it doesn't have any added sugar, that's a good one. Uh, my personal favorite is Juice Hugger. Now I created these so that uh, you wouldn't have to have beverages with lots of artificial sweeteners and artificial colors. Uh, so it's a very good alternative and 100% organic. And it's also the base for a really good soda uh, that you can make yourself. Uh, you can just take one Juice Hugger, which is eight ounces, pour into a glass. And after that, you can take some sparkling seltzer water and maybe add two to three ounces of that in there. And there you have your natural soda. Doesn't have any artificial sugars in it, made with an organic juice, and that's one of your healthy alternatives. Well, now you have your organic sodas, your healthy sodas that you've made yourself from scratch. Now, how do you sell them to the kids? Will you have to sell them to the kids? Maybe not. I mean, what can you do? You can you know, pop a couple of fun straws in them, you can put fruit in them. Some of your kids may like, what, grape soda? You can uh, take grape juice and add some seltzer water to it and make grape soda. But the bottom line is, you can't continue to feed your kids with this stuff and you can't continue to drink this stuff yourself. It's much better for you to use a little bit of time, extra time, and prepare your sodas or to prepare your drinks and choose healthier alternatives when you're out in the store. Do the best that you can and your body will thank you for it. Thank you again for tuning in to Cooking with Crush. See you next time.